know, we all have challenges, um, but it's not how you, it, but it's how you handle the challenge. You know, we all are faced with situations that aren't very pleasant and sometimes that are very uncomfortable to deal with, but it's how we handle them. And um, the definition, actually, I want to share this with you, the definition for um, a complainer or to complain is one who is discontent with his lot, lot in life. You know, you, you get in situations and, and you feel like, woe is me. You feel like, you know, that, you know, why, why does this have to happen to me? And, and you begin to feel sorry for yourself. And, and I don't downplay situations that people go through that are really horrible or really sad. But when you're a believer, we have to dig on the inside and, and, and allow God to pull us up out of that. Because if we don't, then the enemy overtakes us with grief and with sorrow and begin to control our lives. But if we are believers and if we're in, in, encased and been given the heart of thanksgiving, which is a praise, that's something that God has equipped us with to get out of anything. Amen? We have to realize who we are and, and whose we are and what God has put on the inside of us. He's equipped us to walk on the earth. If, he's, if he told us to not complain and not to use negative words, there's a reason why. And, and, and if he told us not to, he's given us something to do. And that's to give him praise. Because he knows in praising him, that's where we get our strength. He knows that when we become thankful and begin to look around us and, and, and be thankful for those things around us, that's where we get our strength. But when we begin to stay in that mutt and begin to just roll in that sorrow, you begin to get deeper and deeper like quicksand. And it begins to suck you in. But we all have challenges, and that's what the enemy, what he tries to do is to isolate you, to make you think and feel like you're the only one going through what you're going through. I can think about two guys that inspire me so much to never quit and to never give up. There's two gentlemen that's on this earth today. It's amazing that they live and that they walk or, or move around, but yet they get it done. Not only do they get it done, but they have touched lives. One of these young men, and I'm not going to even try to pronounce his last name, but he's an Australian. His name is Nick. Nick has a ministry, and you may have seen it on YouTube or in different places. Nick has a ministry called No Limbs, No Limits. He was born with no limbs. He was born with no, say, no limbs. no limbs. Now, here we are today. We, most of us that are in here that I can tell and see, you've walked in with legs. You've walked in with arms. Nick, he gets up. He scoots around. He has to brush his teeth. How? I have no clue. He moves around. He dresses. He goes from place to place. He goes and he ministers to people. Can you imagine, can you, I can't imagine, after having limbs and moving around, but he was born with no limbs. He could have, and I'm not saying he's never had a day like this, but he's could have, he, he could have been very down on himself and say, why me? Why this lot in life for me? But from what all I see and from what all I can tell, he's taken the best of that situation and he's be, giving God thanks. It's amazing. If you've never seen it, I encourage you to go online and look at that. If you have anything going on in your life, I don't care what it is, once you watch that, you can say, I'm thankful. I can move forward. I can do this. I can get up out of this dirt and keep going. I'm telling you, you need to see something. When you're in a situation, never think that it's the worst. There's something going on much worse than what you're dealing with. And, this, and then there's another gentleman named Dustin Carter. He's a wrestler. Now, Nick was born with limbs, but he doesn't have hands and feet. He dominates the wrestling field. I love that kind of stuff. That stirs me up. I can't afford to complain when there's gentlemen out there, and I, and I know there's probably others. But those two I know I've seen and I've watched, I've read, I've read uh, in, in the book, and I, I understand their life and what they've gone through. And I know, you know, that there's probably much, much more. They can't put it all in a book. They can't tell it all in one sermon. But I know they have to have challenges. 
They must have mornings where they get up and forget maybe they don't have limbs and roll off on the floor. Oops. But they get up. And they keep going. What's your excuse? Two legs, two arms, heart beating, mind right, healthy, maybe a little pain here, there, whatever. What up? You can keep going. You can be thankful. 